hey guys welcome to another vlog today is wednesday the 4th of january and yeah i think it's my eighth day on the road if i'm not mistaken um yeah it might be my seventh or eighth day but um yesterday i decided to spend an extra day here in Huey. i think i last left the vlog when i was looking for my airbnb um sorry i'm just running this fan to dry my gloves because everything has been wet because of the rain anyway so i la i last left the vlog when i was looking for my airbnb which didn't exist by the way i spent an hour in the rain looking for an airbnb that didn't exist and uh, when i eventually called the host after messaging them multiple times they eventually directed me to some shady place um i got there and they somehow managed to get me to stay there for one night um yeah that was a really horrible experience especially because i have a cold so i've been sick for the past three days and i was riding in the rain on that day and the last thing i needed was to spend more time in the rain not knowing where i'm going but anyways, um, I decided to spend an extra day just so that I can recover a little bit. Um, yeah, the meds did help, um, but I'm not going to take them this morning because they make me really drowsy. So I'm just going to ride. Um, I think I have a three and a half hours ride ahead of me. So I'm just going to do that. Um, so yeah, yesterday I checked myself into this hotel because I needed a place where I could just you know uh, relax and rest most importantly um yeah so that's what i've been doing yesterday and today i'm back on the road i just finished packing my stuff right there i'm gonna have a coffee and then get on the road yeah i'm just hoping that it doesn't rain today because um, it does set me back a little bit as it is, I'm already running behind uh, because I thought I was going to finish around the 5th, which is tomorrow. But um, I, I'm, I'm going to have to add like two or three more days because I've been taking so many breaks because of getting sick. I haven't considered, like at some point I was even thinking of just, you know, like going back to Danang and just uh, sending the motorbike back and flying to Hanoi. But I'm not that far, so I'm just going to push as far as I possibly can. Um, also, just making sure that I don't push myself overboard. But yeah, that's the update for now, guys. Let me get back on the road and I'll check you all later. So I forgot to mention that I'll be heading over to Dong Hoi, um, which is this place right here. I was just checking on the map to see what it looks like. Um, it looks like it's pretty developed. I think that's probably the most um, interesting thing about this trip. Um, I don't always know what to expect when it comes to places. I'm going to these places for the very first time. In most cases i've never even seen a picture of the place um, like way for instance i just saw some airbnbs i didn't really look much into what the place looks like i, I think that's what's been the most uh, interesting and exciting thing about this trip just exploring these different places and you know like getting to experience the place for the first time very interesting i don't even know 
what where i'm sleeping tonight which makes it even more interesting and exciting um yeah so i generally just ride to the destination and then when i get there or if i'm 30 minutes out i'll just go on airbnb and look for an airbnb um which i'm gonna be a bit skeptical of doing going forward because of the incident i had with the other airbnb uh but yeah i'll, I'll read the reviews because i i don't think i read the review on the last airbnb because it was raining and i really needed to get a place asap but anyways <clears throat> i'm gonna finish this coffee head out uh check out get a hop on the motorbike and then i'll check you all later
I saw this mealy stand as I was riding and I decided to stop and have some mealy. <laughs> First wheel of the day, it's good. I think I'm gonna buy one more and try and prepare it over the fire. I think that's gonna be cool. Um, so far the weather has changed there isn't much rain well there isn't any rain at all but my shoes are soaked I'm not gonna take off this um, raincoat because it works really great as a insulator I'm feeling way way better than I was yesterday so grateful Yeah, I'm starting to have fun again, <laughs> which is really great. Really happy. Mm. Having these mealies next to a fire like this with the smell of the smoke really reminds me of Lesotho. Yeah, it really does. There's so many similarities actually between um, the Soto and Vietnam, especially the landscape. This is good. Definitely reminds me of home. And roasting my millies. a quick break to just fly the drone and get some air drink some water um, I was riding behind some trucks and this is 
uh, what I look like now and this is what the bike looks like uh, the road was wet um, and there was dirt <laughs> yeah I'm almost almost there I'm about 30 32 minutes away 29 kilometers um, for the most part I've just been riding on this road Ho Chi Minh road it's actually quite a nice road to ride on for the first 20 kilometers it was pretty empty um, and a few trucks started showing up every now and then but so far it's been a really really great ride let me get back on the road guys later just arrived in Donghoi and I now need to find an Airbnb so that I know exactly where I'm going uh, let's see if we can find something uh, I found the place I think I'm just gonna ride there and then try and pay when I get there because um, I can't use my card details at the moment because my phone isn't roaming so yeah i'm just gonna drive i'm just gonna ride to the hotel and then i'll just pay when i get there okay wish me luck check the mic and make sure it sound right boy I ended up paying way more than I was expecting to pay because the room that I saw on Agoda wasn't available but it was showing as available on the on the app but anyways it's okay I paid about 500 rands so this is the most I've paid for a hotel so far but it's good it's a good hotel breakfast included so I don't have to worry about that tomorrow um, and I have some nice beach views How about that? Yeah, it's a pretty decent room Pretty decent Nice shower My shoes are so dirty like the way those guys are looking at me downstairs <laughs> I'm like, hey sir, how come you're so dirty and you're booking into a hotel But anyways guys, I'm just gonna freshen up and then go get something to eat And I'll check y'all later I've just showered And I'm now gonna go look for a place where I'm gonna have lunch slash dinner Time is only 4 p.m. Um, and the only thing I've had today was those mealies that I had at that stop. <clears throat> um, I just saw some seafood restaurants. I'm gonna go check it out, try get something to eat from there, and then come back, rest and yeah i'm feeling much much better i think those meds really helped i'm no longer feeling sick so yeah let me go to the restaurant get some food so the place is about a minute away from the hotel <clears throat> um i was looking at the map and looking at how far i've come from ho chi minh city or saigon uh, it's been a really long trip <laughs> 10 days on the road I honestly can't believe that I'm doing this 
Um, yeah, it, it's really crazy. Just look at where I'm at right now. Like, I never in my wildest dreams thought I would ever, you know, be doing such a thing and exploring places like these. I've never even heard of this place, but look at how amazing this place looks. Like, it's such a, such a blessing to be able to do all of these things, to be able to travel, um, explore different cities, uh, different towns, different countries. It's truly such a blessing and it's nothing I'll ever take for granted. Um, I'll forever be grateful. Yeah, and it seems like I'm here. This looks like the restaurant. Nope. That's not it. Um, yeah, guys. I'm just gonna walk around and see if I can find anything because this place doesn't look like what I saw in the pictures. So I'm gonna have to walk around and see if I can find something. Um, yeah, I'm really, really happy. I'm only, I think, I'm only 500 kilometers or just under 500 kilometers from Hanoi, which is my destination. So I'll try and cover those 500 kilometers in three days. Um, yeah, I think that should be cool. So tomorrow I'll probably do four hours, four hours again on. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hello, I bet they, they've never seen a person that looks like me. Hello! Oh, one thing about... <laughs> one thing about um, Southeast Asia or Asian countries, like the women here work in construction. That's something that I was totally surprised by. Uh, definitely like a huge culture shock but it's cool to see that um, you know women can also build I mean no doubt not that I've ever doubted it but it's, it's good to see it in practice uh, anyways guys I think I'm getting lost so I'm just gonna focus on where I'm going they just gave me a free bun me. Hello. Oh uh, no, no bun. Oh, is it closed? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, here's the guy that gave yeah. me the bun me. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, do you know if there's any other restaurant? This way. Yeah. This way? Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much for this. <laughs> Good. These guys are so nice, man. I literally asked for directions and I saw them having a bun me. And then they gave me one. So nice of them. So spicy. Very spicy. Uh, so I just got some Hang on. Hey guys, I'm I'm on a FaceTime call with my girlfriend and she's mocking me for she's mocking me for uh, using my hand a lot on my videos. So I just got some oyster soup which is really nice <laughs> so tasty <laughs> and yeah uh, it took me really long to find a restaurant so I had been working for about 10 minutes but I eventually found this one and the soup is really really nice um, and yeah very tasty and yeah, given that I have a cold, I think it's really gonna help. So yeah guys, let me eat and I'll check y'all later. Bye. Um, 
um, yeah, that oyster soup was terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. I couldn't even finish the thing. I'm kind of pissed now because I have to try order something online. Um, yeah, I really need to find something because none of these restaurants have food. It's almost like people here don't eat out at all. Um, yeah, it really sucks. Kind of feels like a ghost town, but you know, restaurants are open, but there's no food. It really sucks. So I'm just gonna go back to the hotel try and stay warm um order something on grab oh i'll even check if they have food at the hotel maybe i might even just go and get food there it's gonna make my life much easier because i want to take some meds because they've really helped like i'm feeling so much better even though like i still feel a bit um what's the word um um drowsy i last took the pills last night but i'm still feeling drowsy from those pills like i feel like hey <laughs> i feel like the pills are really strong but anyways i think i'm just gonna close this vlog here thank you so much if you've made it this far hello <laughs> thank you so much if you've made it this far uh please like the video leave a comment if you're not subscribed hit the subscribe button and i'll check you guys in the next one bye